there's one thing I pretty much have to buy every week. And am I ashamed of it? No. Is it a habit? Most definitely. Is it horrible? Nah, I don't know. If you guys guessed anything other than coffee, I'm very disappointed in you. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. This is like the best. Now he just pulls me. Um, good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Uh, me and Barry coming to you live from the streets of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, good boy. Yes. On today's agenda, we don't really have much because yesterday I did all that treatment. There's no real reason to push things and make it worse just to um, just to do it even though it feels good. So today we we're just kind of chilling out max and relaxing and uh, probably the easiest way to take a dog for a walk. Hey, ready? Tired. You're <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Home. Sharpie, an Allen wrench to get the get the bolts out of there. Of course, the coffee. Some things are more important than others. We'll need a few drill bits, one a little bit larger for countersinking stuff, and one about the same size as the actual bolts. So the angle of the chair right now, kind of, it really tips you pretty far back. It has a tip back feature, so I don't know why they angled it so far back. So the goal for today is to basically move and recreate this bolt hole somewhere up in here and move this one up a little bit. So we're basically changing the angle of the chair a little bit. Even if we just move it to here, it'll probably still work because you're leaning back on it. Okay, here we go. Step number one, remove bolts. Contemplating the angle. Okay, so we want to make sure we're drilling the hole the exact same spot on both sides. That way, when you're leaning back, it's not crooked, you're not tweaking your hips in some funky way. Also, the only reason I'm doing this is because this wasn't a super expensive chair, but it was advertised as an ergonomic chair, and then when it came, uh, it was less ergonomic and less comfortable than I wanted it to be. Our physio came and was like, hey, you're leaning back quite a bit. And in my head, growing up with my dad, we just fixed everything instead of replacing it. So I'm fixing this instead of replacing it. Free fix, because I have all the tools, rather than replacing it with like a thousand dollar actual ergonomic chair. Find 
find a, find a drill bit that's about the same width or diameter as the head of your screw. So this one's, this one's a little bit bigger because it's perfect. So we're actually going to drill it to countersink it in a little bit. So this is pretty soft plastic, so it goes pretty easy. After some deliberation, the left side of this chair did not want to cooperate as well as the right side, I hope is going to. So hopefully this, uh, this one looks cleaner and goes better. Initial test, great. Now when I sit here, it actually supports my neck, which is kind of what I wanted. It supports my neck, which is what I wanted, and actually like holds my back while I'm sitting like actually upright instead of like leaning back. This chair has a leaning back feature. That's why I was like, why would they include, why would it be as squishy as it is? But, prefix for a free chair. Well, not free chair. Prefix for better lumbar support. And that right there is how you fix a desk chair. That's going to be pretty much it for today's video. Um, I know it's not necessarily what you guys signed up for. Obviously it's not track. But today was my off day and so I always try and get something done around the house that's productive on my off days before I go actually coach. So that's what we got done. I'm going to head to the track and I'm going to end the video here. So remember, be nice to people, don't hurt yourself, don't hurt others, slow down, don't dance so fast. And I'll talk to you guys all tomorrow. Okay, bye.